Hey guys, my name is Ismail. Welcome to Top Channel 101. So in this video, let us look at how to create these gears. I'm not sure how they are called, but uh, I found them uh, interesting. So I thought I could give them a try and uh, see how to make them. Yeah, so this is going to be a time lapse video. And uh, this time, if you want to get uh, these models as well, I will be adding them to my CG Trader account and you can get them, you can download them for free. Yeah, so I'll be leaving a link in the description. And uh, yeah, let's continue with the time lapse. Make sure to give a like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Uh, so to create the first gear, I create a circle and then I uh, extrude the vertices in and then select the outer ring. I, I use Ctrl Shift B to bevel the, the vertices and then I select uh, the vertices that I don't need. Uh, so I'm, I'm doing it again here. Uh, so you can see I beveled the outer the, the outer vertices and then deleted uh, the, the extra faces that I don't need uh, so that I have that uh, jagged, I think jagged edge that you see there. And now I'm just extruding as usual. There's nothing new here I'm doing. It's just extruding and then pushing uh, to to get uh, the, uh, the shape you want. Uh, here I'm just selecting uh, the edges uh, that I want uh, to extrude and uh, you can see And then adding a, a mirror modifier uh, so that I can only work so that I only work on uh, one side, and then the mirror modifier uh, duplicates what I'm doing on the other side. Uh, so now I'm uh, I'm trying to add edge loops so that I make those edges look sharper, like you see in the reference image. And uh, because I, ha I would have to work on every single uh, extrusion I have, I just uh, deleted as three three quarters I think three quarters of the of the mesh and then use the mirror modifier uh, so that I only work on one side and then the mirror modifier duplicates what I'm working on on the other side uh, here I'm just adding bevels uh, to as uh, areas that I see need um, need to look sharp uh, so I removed some of the edges I had some of the edge loops I have add, I had added there uh, so that I have that curve that curved uh, surface there now I want to add more extrusion to the outer uh, things, outer ridges you see there. Uh, just as I'm selecting the outer, and, and now I'm, I'm extruding uh, with a scale by, I think by individual points, a tando, uh, as you can see down there in the menu, you see me changing between a select by, by active origin or by center. And uh, so I think we have finished the first gig first gear now we can go to the second gear the same process up up dies I just let me just let you watch a uh, time-lapse so if you find this useful make sure to leave a like subscribe and I'll see you in the next video